Yo, what is everyone? It's Dark Horse, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Obviously, I haven't been working on a lot recently, but um, I'm kind of obviously working on stuff. Um, what's it called? Fire Emblem. Obviously, I haven't live streamed it in a while. It's because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a YouTube series now, only for the fact that I can skip through all of the like side battles and stuff like that. I've been leveling up a lot. Obviously, I don't know if you're interested in that, but be sure to check it out. I'm going to get the episode up later tonight. Um, yeah, so basically what the crack is it's so good like the leveling up process is solid man it's jokes it's so good once you start getting your characters developed and stuff but you'll see in the episode if you decide to watch it but anyways we're here we're basically here to watch this boom this is what we're doing layer of darkness versus the realm of light obviously i gave obviously a subscriber a choice of what deck they want to use they selected realm of light haven't bothered to check what cards are in it i obviously assume it's light sworn anyway um so we're expecting basically the similar cards we would normally. So obviously the Lair of Darkness, I've never used it before, never bought the Stretcher deck as a youngster. Obviously it is the uh, the reloaded one, so you know it doesn't have banned cards in it. But it could be interesting to see how it goes and obviously using it. So obviously when we come back, which is very shortly, I need to set up the lobby and stuff. And once we'll get straight into it, it's going to be a three match duel. If you're interested, be sure to jump into Discord and we can select. Like I've got structure decks and starter decks like matched up, so we can obviously select those. There's a lot that I've obviously paired up. Plus we can switch them around, so that'll be interesting as well. Something new to bring to the channel, something like fresh as well, um, and yeah so basically that's something for you guys as well as me as well because it'll be interesting so it's going to be three rounds four thousand life points each i was thinking eight thousand but because they're older kind of decks i think four thousand but i haven't done one of these in a while so i don't really know the life points and how they will be any better so we're going to jump in i'll be back shortly and yeah hope you enjoy Alright, here we are. I'm kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie. I am actually a bit nervous, because um, I obviously don't know what to expect. 4,000 life points put me a little bit on edge as well, because I'm a bit like, damn, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but... <laughs> yeah, um... Okay. I think we should be okay. Obviously, I need to turn my TV down. I don't know where the audio is for the actual... Where's the audio for the... Well, the audio is recording, right? So where is the audio coming out from? My speakers. But my speakers are not working. Which is baloney. Oh, you know what? I'll just turn it up on my TV. I'll sort my speakers out at some point. Okay. Wow. Lair of Dark... No, not Lair of Darkness. The other one runs Alexandrite. That's mad. I didn't know that. Okay. Tribute 1 Dark Monster 15. I'm just sure all monsters that were special summon this turn. Um, once per turn, you can send more lights from your hand to the graveyard. Okay. Right, you can discard this card and one layer of darkness from your deck to your hand. You can tribute one dark monster, draw one card. Okay. If this card is tribute, draw one card. If your monster would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card. Okay. During your opponent's so quick, you can banish this card from the graveyard. Discard the top card of your deck, and if it's a normal trap, set it on the third board, send it to the graveyard. Okay. Once per turn, you can make this card's attack become double its original attack until the end of this turn. Once per turn, during the opponent's card, was actually to destroy this card. This card was known as Banished One. Okay. Um, right, I'm going to activate Arimar. Arimar's effect to get myself a Lair of Darkness. Okay. So, it's a shame. All face monsters become Dark Monsters turn. If you tribute a monster, you control to activate a card. If you can tribute one Dark Monster, your opponent controls. See, that's pretty good. But, that's. This is the problem I have is i don't particularly have anything really going for me so i'm going to normal summon plague wolf into attack mode i'm going to activate plague wolf's attack uh, effect sorry and then we're going to proceed to the battle phase and destroy us oh yo we're on four thousand life points as well damn how do people play Yu-Gi-Oh like this this is crazy i've left myself wide open now but I had to get rid of Alexandrite. There is no way in hell I would have been able to... If something better had come out, like, I don't know what cards are in this deck from what monsters to expect. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, it has that card in it. That card is so sick. I think it increases attack by 700 or something. Oh, 300 attack for each life to one in the graveyard. Yeah, it's pretty sick. It's decent to actually get your attack high as well. 
you know the way okay 1700 it could go with its effect by putting itself into defense mode to destroy my face down card which is a very smart play not bad at all that's a shame but oh my word each time a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard no way it's a level seven isn't it so it means two tributes that's fine I'm so glad it didn't have uh, anything that could have been special summoned to the field and stuff like that. Wow. By attributing all monsters you control, this card's attack becomes a combined original. Okay, if it's kind of... Uh, wait. Oh. Wait. Oh, yo. Wait, 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 wait. Right. I don't know if we have to activate the field spell or... Wait there. You attribute one dark monster. Wait, 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 wait. Once per turn, if you attribute a monster control, activate. Okay. So. Oh, that's annoying. That's actually annoying. What's the effect? It's going to banish one or more darks, and if you do. Yeah, yeah, I'll banish them both. Does it become the original attack of the tributed monsters? See, that sucks about this. It's good, but <laughs> it sucks. Um, look at the choice. Obviously, its original attack is 14, no, 1200. I could obviously tribute it to then bring out Maju and then inflict piercing damage by attacking it. But it means giving up Maju. But the chances are, what kind of monster is it possible to bring out by to for us to use Maju's effect? That's the problem I've got. Do I attack for 2,000? Or... So... Oh, it's a tough choice. Okay, we'll go battle phase. And then going to attack and destroy that. It's a very hard position I'm in at this point. If Maju could rely on... Wait, hold it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Okay. This is interesting. Legendary Maju Gazette. I, I do want to bring it out, but I need to have some decent monsters on the field. I can get a high-level monster, and he goes defense mode. Then I can go with Maju. And that would probably be... Scourge, you can return one face special, and if you do, take 400 damage. Okay. Which is really good on his side, because he can now normal summon a monster, and then attack me f <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, this is um, this is a bit of a, bit of a. We do need a monster that doesn't require special summoning. Okay, interesting. Oh no. Okay, it's not who I thought it was. Oh, you can destroy two cards your opponent controls. Yo, that shuts us down there. Why would the effect not act? Wait, what? Okay, I just give me a six star or a five star. I, I really should check my deck, really. I don't know how that benefits. Uh, oh, well, technically it's two monsters on the field to tribute someone, but yeah. Target one face up monster on the field, double its defense, but its defense becomes zero at the end of this turn. You can banish character, you can attack one monster your opponent control. You control your opponent's monsters cannot attack for the rest of this turn. Right, I've got a choice. If card is tributed, draw one card. If your monster will be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card. Oh, it's a very risky. Uh, it's a very risky move I'm about to go for. Do I summon Kribo and then special summon, or I go defense mode? Oh, yo, where are all our high level monsters? What do we even have in this deck? No, 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 no. 
The worst part, I've kind of gave them a monster. I don't even know if they can attack or not. Interesting. That's not a bad play, you know? By doing that, he could normal summon the monster, activate its effect, put it in defense mode, destroy this. I need a high level monster to bring Ma Gazette out. Or something to prevent it from going on. Um, you can banish the card from your graveyard. No, it's fine. There really is no point. Activate, no. I don't know what it was asking me to act. Probably the trap card. So I possibly... Oh, cannot attack for the rest of this turn. Except to attack the monster. No. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go for it and hope for the best. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which monster does destroy to attack it. They can't attack directly anyway. So it's kind of a win-win in a way. Right, and then that way. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish card from the graveyard. Can we activate it straight away? I like activate, yeah. Select the card you wish to return to the deck in any order. Your opponent cannot tribute this face up card on the third and it's not target with card effects. You can only use Ah, oh, that's It's so annoying. Um Right. All face monsters on the field become doubt. Once per turn, if you attribute a monster, you control to activate a card effect. You can attribute one doubt. To activate a card effect. See, this is why we need one of these. You know what? I'm just going to have to go with it in that order. I, I possibly... I don't really have a good... Yeah. Obviously, if we banish it, we look at the top card. It wasn't a thingy, so it goes to the graveyard. It's f fine. It doesn't even shuffle the deck. Oh, my. I thought it would have shuffled. <laughs> I have nothing. Well, I could summon this and tribute it. Each time a card is sent from the deck to the grave by the effect of the lights, remove from play the top card of your opponent's deck. Okay. Right. Each one's playing during the end phase of his card attack this turn. So I have a choice. I could attack. But I do that. Oh, man. Right, okay. I've got an. This is annoying. Because. I'm very limited on what I can do. I have no choice but to go with this. Obviously making it a 2,000 attack monster. But it still leaves the door open of still being destroyed. Wait. Oh, it's the Kar Yeah, it was the Karibo. Maybe I should have tributed the... No, we couldn't have it. It would have only been 300 attack. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the backside, really. You know? I am a turn there. Either way, it... Okay. It's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. Oh, wait. Hold up. Wait there. What's that? Is that during the standby phase? Oh, it's when it's destroyed. You can tribute one monster special from this cup in the graveyard. Never mind. Okay. Oh, man. How... Having five or more light monsters with different names in your graveyard. Okay. I thought it was exactly five, but it's not. It's interesting, though. It's been nine turns. This goes to show how much Yu-Gi-Oh! has changed over the years. And this is the type of Yu-Gi-Oh! I enjoy. I don't enjoy this whole Link spam and XZ and brrr, all of that. You know? Obviously, he'll have to attack that, and then we'll take a thousand damage off of... Um, thingy but yeah oh it's annoying that i gave him monsters to attack with the only way i could think of it is if i 
thought. Okay, never mind. See, I can't. Oh, mate. I literally. The worst part is my cards were set in stone. It's a shame. No, he's got this in the bag. Well played, well played. It's hard because obviously the monsters are very challenging at trying to get out as well. Damn. Not bad, not bad. Um, I think if earlier in the game we had a natural monster that could be tribute summoned, say this for example, we could have summoned a monster. No. Yeah, we could have summoned the Karibo, had it in the graveyard to prepare us for the next turn. So then that way it's not destroyed. And then we could have brought out Diabolic. Diabolos. But yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for a first game. Okay. Lost our first round. It's very weird doing round games. But it's pretty cool to have 4,000 life points playing with normal decks though. Obviously. I don't have a side deck anyway. But I don't even know if you can even change your cards. Uh, I'm going to go second to go. See how this plays out. Um... Not exactly the greatest hand, but Vanity's Fiend could work in our favor. Tribute one Dark Monster with 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent destroys one card for their choice from their hand or deck. Oh, we oh, we know what. We can actually do pretty well. Each time a spell is activated, it'd be... Wait, hold on, what? The player that activated takes 1,000 damage. Wow. I am... Yes, I'm going to activate this. And then I'm going to bring Vanity's Fiend out, I think. Because I think we can use Grinning Grave Virus to benefit us. Oh, we have to set it. Ooh. Fiend monsters you control, so it cannot be destroyed by battle card effects. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Obviously, I think we should still have one monster at the end of the battle phase. There is no point playing Vanity's Fiend face down in defense mode. I think the good opportunity we've possibly got is, unless Raiden's effect activates... Um, yeah, unless Raiden's effect activates and he sends down one of the monsters that can special summon from the graveyard, then we should be all good. But it obviously all depends on how it's going to play out in the long run. Because you never know. Okay, you take a thousand damage. That's perfect. But then monster reincarnation, discard a card, depending on who you're going to go for. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's a thousand damage dealt, which is good. But then, don't. If he summons that monster, doesn't its effect. Oh, Judgment Dragon. <whistles> good job we got rid of that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure its effect allows it to destroy two cards on the field. When you tribute send this card for tribute, you can send the top four cards from your deck to the grave and tie up two cards your opponent controls and destroy them. Yeah. Okay, well played. Interesting. Uh, yes. Chain another card. What can I chain? Oh, it's his effect. No. Wow. Tribute summon this card by tribute one tribute summon monster. If this card is tribute summon, target one card, banish it and inflict a thousand. Discard two cards, target one card, trap in your grave, set that target. No. Each player sends two cards. <sighs> I've just got to see how this goes, man. Wait. Oh, okay. Activate the effect of a card. No. So I bring Vanity's Fiend out, destroy that. Then next turn, I should be able to bring out our main, I would say our main, one of our dark big monsters. There he is, Caius the Mega Monarch. Okay. Neither player can special summon monsters. So that's a that's a win-win for me, man. Because now it opens the doors for him only being able to normal summon or set. So, yeah, unless... Oh my, what if this deck runs honest? No way. 
I'm actually surprised. I want to check this deck profile after because obviously I sent him the picture of what deck he had well, they were using, but I didn't check the can cards in the thing, in the box, in the whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't want to activate his effect, but I think we're good. I think we might be able to finish with this with Caius. Well, 2800. Oh, and we inflict a thousand damage. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Not a bad little combo there. Not bad at all. Obviously, I'm kind of glad I went for the spell because I didn't want it to be a case that I activated it and paid a thousand life points. Right, Caius, the Mega Monarch. Activates his effect. We banish you. Oh, I could have selected another card, but yeah. Oh, wow. That would have been very good for him on his part. Well played, though. And then we attack for 28. Not bad. We did well. We did well. Very good. The one thing I noticed about building this deck is it consists of one card of each type, like kind of thing. It literally has one card. That's it. Normally, you see decks nowadays with three of one particular card, but this just has... Yeah. So, this is what it comes down to. Obviously, normally, it'd be a 1-1 one, one or, you know, or straight up wins, but it's not been too bad. Max t shirt's so baggy on me. Okay. Tribute on Dark Monster 2000. Look at your opponent's hand each time a spell... Each time a level 5 or higher theme wants you normal, someone can be... See, that would be so good. I could bring Diabolus out. But it means, have I got the balls to activate Allure of Darkness and take the risk on it? You know what? Go hard or go home, so they say. Go on. Yeah, perfect. Fine, I can banish you. Oh my word, we can bring it out. Oh my. This is actually very... That's 1,500 or less attack. See, that doesn't work for me. That don't. Um, I... I'll end my turn there. I'd be wounded. Obviously, there's... The only downfall is some banned cards can't be used in these type of duels. And I feel like that's something they ruined. They should be able to use banned cards in player matches you know it's the whole point of it really but i'm hoping it doesn't go for the trap card i need oh come on come on seriously if exactly one or another will be destroyed you can send this card to the graveyard instead man that's unfortunate absolutely stinkered oh man <laughs> it's all right though because what i'll do is i'll wait it out he'll destroy it which is fair play but it goes into defense mode anyway Oh, wait. So before he ends his turn, I have to activate this spell card. Dooms, uh, Fires of Doomsday gives us two monsters onto the field. And then we can bring Diabolus, a King of the Abyss, out next turn without it having to be set on the field. Obviously, a uh, thousand damage. Yeah. But it's cool. It's cool. Right. If you tribute summon this card, the tributes must be dark. Can be tributed by card effects while face on the field once per turn during your opponent's draw phase. Before they normal draw, look at the top card of your opponent's deck. And what does that say? And if you do, place the card on the top of the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Okay, I can go Inferno once percent during the end phase of a card attack. Nah, it's definitely not going to work. Although, I could use it to my advantage. When a light swarm monster control is targeted for an attack, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Wow, that's annoying. Okay. Uh... Right, okay. Ugh. I want to go Diabolus, but I just don't feel like it's the best choice yet. We're going to have to go with this option and try and make it work for us. Obviously, we destroy the monster first. Yeah. Don't activate a trap card. See what happens. Oh, you bummer. What does it do? Just to negate the attack. And target the attacking monster and negate it. And negate the attack. So technically it hasn't attacked. Although. <sighs> mm. 
No. No. Ah. Did it? I don't know if it, we're going to find out. I don't. Tiger one phase against 400 attack until the end of this turn. During your turn, it's when it's going to punish the cavern going to Okay. No. 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 I just don't want to activate it too quick just in case it does get destroyed. No, it's clear. It's all good. Okay. I wasn't too sure. You know, sometimes it does kind of mess you about with things like that. And I didn't want that to be a case with um, our dragon. But it's not bad. Obviously, you can tribute. Ah, oh, see, this is a nightmare. Um, it's got breakthrough as well. That's so annoying. If it goes for Exploder, that's fine. Is it Exploder? No, Infernal Dragon. Okay, I'm going to activate it now. Because then that way it saves it us being a waste. Show me your hand. I don't think he'll have anything under 1500, but we'll soon see. Oh, wait. There's one card. But that benefits him. No way. Okay. Dread. So, at least with Diabolus, it, no, it would have still been destroyed. This is crazy. Twenty-four. The thing is, oh, this is so annoying. That trap card, it's unreal. It's fine. I can still go with this combo. Obviously, it means we we ain't going to deck him out. There is no way in Jose we're going to be able to pull that off. Obviously, I can still attack. Oh no. He has the cards he can activate in the graveyard, don't he? he has breakthrough skull, skill. Sorry, where's Oh, wow. You've got Breakthrough Skill. You've got Necro Gardener. You've got this card. Right. During the turn, except the turn is covered, you can banish this card. Tag one face when you control against 800 attack until the end of this turn. That is so annoying. Dread. Okay. Um, i got to win my turn. I can't do nothing. I... Oh, he's... The combo in this Light Sworn deck is solid. The trap card can send two cards, and then by sending the cards from the deck to the graveyard, it benefits him anyway, because then obviously the Light Sworn monster can be special summoned, alongside putting decent spell or trap cards into the deck, which end, well, monsters that activate in the graveyard, see, skill successor activates, increasing, I'd probably go for 23. I was originally going to go with the choice of that, but I was thinking maybe just attack with 23 and then finish. I think this is over, you know. Gains 300 attack. Well played. We've got 200 life points. No spell cards can be activated. And I don't know what we have. I don't know what we can pull out the bag here. Um, Lair of Darkness is probably the only card that can save us. I honestly thought I pulled it then. I really did. I don't think we have anything we can... Oh, mate. If we, even if we activate the spell card, we lose anyway. <laughs> no! Oh, you know what? Um, yeah, I'll activate it. Just for the sake of it, you know. Man, this is crazy. There's literally... What even activates in the graveyard when it's sent there? He probably has, he's probably collared it and been like, why is he activating it? Why is he going to, he's going to basically lose by activating the spell card. There we go, I lost to my own card. Well played though, that was very good. It looks really cool looking at the layout like that, but obviously it's not going to be the thumbnail. Why is it saying hurry in the top corner? Hurry. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and share. Um, if you're interested in getting involved, then be sure to jump into Discord. It'd be greatly appreciated. Obviously, there are more content video coming up like this. So I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and like, comment, and share. Peace.